Hey, what's going on everybody? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Rat Bird Roost. Um, today we're going to talk about kind of how the World Series went the past couple days and the game tonight. Um, we got Game 5 of the World Series tonight. Last night wasn't pretty. Uh, the Rangers jumped out to a 10-0 lead. We're leading 11-1 and eventually won the game 11-7. The Diamondbacks did try to fight back, but they weren't in a very good position going with a bullpen game to start that game. Uh, they kind of feel overmatched to me at this point. I mean, it's a 3-1 series. Uh, the night before, you know, the Rangers jumped out to a 2-1 lead in that one. Uh, it just seemed like they were the better team then, and they came out and kind of showed it again. This past night, uh, they are 9-0 and now on the road in this postseason, which is absolutely incredible. Um, even with the Dolis Garcia getting taken off the postseason roster due to injury, uh, Max Scherzer also removed from the postseason roster due to injury, but especially with Adolis Garcia because of the offense he's produced for them in this you know postseason run. I feel like uh, you know maybe that would have been kind of kind of hard for them to overcome, but just it was total next man up. Uh, Travis Sienkowski had a pretty good game last night. I mean, he got a couple of hits, drove in some runs. Corey Seager continues to produce. It looks like Simeon kind of broke out of his funk last night with a home run. Um, tonight, we got Nathan Avaldi pitching for the Rangers, who has a litany of postseason experience, versus Zach Gallen who is, is a really good pitcher, but let's be honest, I mean, this is his first postseason. Uh, it, it seems like he's kind of overmatched, in my opinion. Um, I would like to see the Diamondbacks win this game just to extend the series so we could keep watching baseball for a couple of days, but it doesn't seem like they're going to do it. Um, before this series, I said my head said Rangers in five, and my gut said Diamondbacks in seven. It looks like my head was right. I mean, I feel like the Rangers are going to take this series. Um, and I did go with my, with my gut and say Diamondbacks in seven. But it, it looks like, you know, logic kind of prevailed here. Uh, the, the tougher offense, you know, higher paid roster, uh, guys with more experience. It just seems like, you know, they totally completely overmatched the Diamondbacks. And if you look at the Rangers this season... They had a lot of injuries, and if they'd been a fully healthy team, they probably would have won over 100 games. I mean, this team is just fantastic. And um, if they do close it out tonight, they'll be a very deserving champion, in my opinion. Very good team. Corey Seager is going to just be, maybe maybe become the fourth guy in Major League history to win World Series MVP twice. I don't know which of the other three did it for two separate teams, um, I don't, I don't think anyone has. I think he could be the first guy to ever win World Series MVP for two separate teams. So, I mean, he's, he's a very special player and honestly, you know, deserves it. I, I feel like he's one of the best players in baseball today. Very deserving of the money he got. And, um, yeah, I feel like the Rangers... We're all business these past two seasons, spending over $700 million to make their team better. Brought in a great manager like Bruce Bochy, who's already a three-time champion and had been to four World Series because a lot of people forget he was a manager of the Padres in 1998. So, I mean, this is his fifth appearance. Certainly not his first rodeo, and he's about to get a fourth championship and become just the second manager besides Sparky Anderson to win a World Series in both leagues. Um... Yeah, this team is really good. So I expect the Rangers to win tonight. But like I said, I hope the Diamondbacks win just to extend the just some baseball for a little longer. And don't let the Rangers go 10-0 on the road. Uh, if they That would be incredible if they did. And on one hand, I want to see that happen because it will probably never happen again. But on the other, don't let them do it. You know what I mean? I, want, I would rather see the Diamondbacks get a home win and give their fans something. Um... That's all I really got for today. I'm looking forward to the game tonight, and uh, I expect to see the World Series get closed out, but you never do know. So if, you are, if you're going to watch, drop a comment. Let me know who you think is going to win. Uh, let me know who you think is going to get the better of the other pitcher in the pitching matchup between Avaldi and Gallon. And, um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Uh, we'll talk some football tomorrow. We'll do our NFL picks for the week and talk about Thursday night between the Titans and Steelers. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day.